<laughs> Thanks so much. Um, I didn't even realize we were a sponsor, but I've written a new book, uh, Startup Land, and a bunch of you guys already received it on your uh, chairs. Uh, Sendes, we are a customer service software company, and I think a bunch of you guys are probably already using our software. Um, the company is seven years old, and these are my two co-founders, Morten and Alex, when we were out of Copenhagen. We bootstrapped it there for a couple of years before moving in here to San Francisco and Silicon Valley, and building what is Sendes today, uh, a company with 800 employees that we also took public on the New York Stock Exchange uh, earlier this year. So, I have a new book, Startup Land, and I have a, a bunch of chronicles that I'd love to share, and I have two of them here today. Uh, back in 2009, uh, we, uh, we, as the growth hackers we were, we changed our pricing configuration. Uh, we uh, were optimizing the funnel, and we were working with the spreadsheets, and you all know the exercise, and we thought, okay, we can change the pricing configuration, we will make more money, it will be great for everybody. Uh, <laughs> the thing was, of course, that when we sent out that mail to our customers, uh, the reaction was a little bit different. We hit the front page of TechCrunch almost immediately, and our customers were revolting because everything they saw was that we raised our prices. And so we had a terrible day. We had a terrible day to trying to explain ourselves, and ultimately, we had to go out and tell our customers that uh, we were sorry. Uh, we forgot that they were people too. We suddenly we uh, we we treated them just as users of a system, just as numbers in a spreadsheet. And we had to go out and take back our new pricing configuration and grandfather them forever, and really tell them we were sorry and we would never do anything like that again. And this was uh, our blog post and <laughs> what, how I had to go out and, and bear my soul. Um, another thing that we did because this was a this was a big moment for us in many ways. We learned a lot from it and and and. Um, and you know, in many ways, it became defining for us. So we had a lot of these quotes that these customers sent to us, and some of them were terrible. I'm not even showing the worst here. And we had T-shirts made with all of them. And we still wear these T-shirts today to remind ourselves that users are people too, and you should never forget that. You have to work hard every day to earn the trust and the business of your customers. So Sendesk, we are a business-to-business -business software company. And um, you know the traditional notion of business software is that it's it's very kind of enterprisey, a little bit boring, and so on. But in today's world, in the world of consumerization, uh, that just doesn't work anymore. Um, the like in the customer service software industry, uh, you used to have uh, you used to have this imagery of smiling ladies with headset and great customer service. And we all know that that's not real. That's not. That's not how the world works. We all know that customer service normally is not a great experience, and this is definitely not the person talking to you. Um, so um, when we are selling into businesses today, you have to remember you're actually selling to people. With the consumerization of IT, things are very different today. So we redid our imagery. We had to, we had to find imagery that worked for a new generation and a new, uh, uh, and a new uh, set of users. So we took inspiration in the Laughing Buddha. We had this guy called the mentor with man boobs and everything. You'll see him in a moment. And call ourselves the new face of customer service. And this is, this is branding and this is imagery that we've been using ever since. It's much more appealing. Uh, to a, an audience that wants to personally connect with the software, also with the business software that they use. We're using this branding all the way to our uh, IPO and, and still using this today. So these were, these were a few war stories. Um, I have a bunch more of them in uh, my book um, that uh, you can read more about. I just want to leave you with that. Remember that my stories are just stories. Uh, there are a million ways to build a startup, and you should definitely t choose, uh, choose your own path and make your own mistakes because you're going to make a lot of them, and it will be fun. So you're probably going to fail. <laughs> Enjoy the journey because it's worth it, and you will learn so much, and it will be a big experience uh, building a startup. My new book is out already. You can buy it in bookstores. You can buy it on Amazon. If you read it, please remember to review it. Please give it a book, good review, too. <laughs> um, and I'll be out here signing some of the books, if I'm not wrong, um, and also uh, answering questions and uh, talking to you guys. Follow me on Twitter, please. Thank you.